Thermal imaging cameras are amazing. You can see the cold spots and the hot spots in your house. You can use them on an automobile like we did in my truck a few years ago to see animals and people far down the road. But the problem is they're expensive. Enter the FLIR 1. This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Toyota. Techzilla Bites, we're feeding your tech hunger fast. I'm Patrick Norton, and this is the FLIR 1. It is attached to an iPhone S. It is $349. It is a badass FLIR thermal imaging camera that I can actually afford. Why is it affordable? Well, let's talk to Andy Teach to find out how they actually dropped the price of a thermal imaging camera by an order of magnitude. That is a big deal, people. So this is like an order of magnitude reduction in price. Is it the sensor at the core of this that made the price so low this time? Yes, Patrick, it is. You know, we that's what we targeted was to go to the core elements in the sensor that are the high cost items, the detector, the lens, and the electronics. And in all three of those things, we brought the cost down by an order of magnitude. And you're still looking at approximately a 100 meter range for the, the FLIR 1? Yes, we are. Yeah, for a human target. When you're looking at the device itself, like I'm used to seeing thermal imaging cameras that are either large boxes or were, you know, in the past they required cooling systems, a lot of power. What, what was the breakthrough? Well, this is, uses an uncooled detector to start with. So it uses a detector that works at room temperature. So there's no cooling device required. Um, then we made the pixel size smaller. So we really targeted all of the things that were done in a CMOS camera that's used in a cell phone. And, and the resulting device here, um, the core, which we call the Lepton core, uh, is actually dimensionally the same size as a CMOS camera that's used in a mobile phone. It's, it's uh, 8.5 by 8.5 by 5.5 millimeters. What's the resolution on that? So the, the, the core itself, the thermal resolution, is 80 by 60, but then we use what we call our multi-spectral dynamic imaging, or MSX. We use imagery coming from a visible channel. We extract the detail from that, and we emboss that onto the thermal. And it up the thermal, and it gives you a much cleaner looking picture. I mean, if 80 by 60, you'd never think that, given the amount of detail we're getting, all the all the architectural detail in the room. Um, I suspect we'll see a lot of automotive applications for this in the near future. Sure. So, you know, we're in cars today with a forward-looking camera in BMW, Audi, and Mercedes vehicles. But this camera, given its low cost, could be used inside the vehicle, for example, for occupancy detection. So it could measure temperature and determine if there are living beings in the car, if it's like overheating parked in a hot parking lot and put the windows down. Um, that could also be used for other sensors in a vehicle, like a backup sensor, because you wouldn't need any light. You'd be able to see if there was a living being behind the vehicle when you were backing up. I'm so excited. Spring? Yes, it'll be available in the spring. Thank you so much for your time. The camera effectively has a range of 100 meters. There's a battery built in. It's going to give it about four hours of life so you can wander around searching for things without killing your battery life with your phone. And I got to say, I'm excited to figure out how to hack this thing, get it on the far side of the glass of my car so I can use it to range things at night or to see things out in the desert when it's cold and crazy and dusty and I can't see things. I love FLIR's products. I can't afford them until now. FLIR 1, available spring, $349. We will review this as soon as we can get our grubby little paws on one. Techzilla.com is the place to find more of our coverage from CES 2014 or go to YouTube.com slash Techzilla and subscribe. Please comment down below. Let us know what you think or tweet at Techzilla. I'm Patrick Norton. This is CES 2014. I want to thank Toyota for sponsoring our coverage, and i got to go. There is some amazingly cool stuff here at CES.